Hello, everyone. Yesterday, my mom came over and was asking me a question of, you know, where are you going to change the baby? <laughs> the baby's downstairs because downstairs is where we're most likely going to spend the most time. I think that's so weird. Like you spend so much time on the nursery, but you just basically don't spend a lot of time in there. So she basically asked me, where are you going to be, you know, having your little changing station? And I didn't even think about that until yesterday. So obviously all night I could not stop thinking about it. I'm like, what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? What are they going to do? Where should I put them? Da -da -da -da. And I keep thinking, you know, should I put them on the couch and just change them on the couch? Because I hate the couch anyway and I, I don't care if they crap on it. Uh, on the floor. Or what, where should, should I bring them upstairs every time? What do I do? So I have three options um, that I'm kind of looking into. And I would love to know your input to see um, what you have used in the past. I guess this is more directed towards mommy's now, <laughs> I guess. So your advice is definitely, definitely needed. The first choice I have is the contour changing pad. And it would basically be just kind of freestanding. I could move it wherever the heck I want to, on the couch, on the floor, um, on a table if I wanted to, and um, get, you know, just changing pad covers for it, whatever. Easy washable, easy accessible, it's soft, it has straps, um, it's good for when they're small. Second choice is the diaper caddy. The diaper caddy has a little bit of a little diaper um, changing pad that comes with it. Uh, you would basically just take this caddy with you, put the diapers, the um, you know the butt paste in it, the powder and stuff like that, whatever you would need, in this little case and that comes with a little changing pad. The pad is not padded whatsoever. It's basically just like a plastic, you can call it a, a changing mat. The third choice is going to be the pack and play. Now the pack and play is the most expensive of the three items. Um, it comes with a mobile, a diaper caddy, and a bassinet. The, the uh, bassinet thing, um, and a changing table, obviously. Uh, the bassinet thing will actually come off and you can kind of put the kids in there when they're a little bit older. Um, so if you're cooking or whatever, um, they can be with you, with you. Um, this one I believe is like $75 to $100. Only thing is that we already have one. We have one upstairs and that is our co-sleeper. The co-sleeper is by Arms Reach. Um, it's awesome. Literally, if you have twins, I would definitely recommend getting this co-sleeper by Arms Reach because it's larger. Um, it, it's just it, it's it turns into a play yard as well when they get older too but the one thing about this is is I don't want to be lugging this thing up and down stairs because it's pretty heavy it's about it's about 40 pounds and when I'm down here I don't want to worry about you know upstairs what's upstairs bring the baby upstairs bring them downstairs whatever blah 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 I don't want to worry about that <laughs> so if you could leave your comments, leave your opinions in the comment section, the bottom bar, that would be really, really, really appreciated because I'm kind of at a loss. Um, I'm leaning towards getting, just getting the pack and play because it seems like a good idea just to have another one downstairs just to have. Um, but, you know, if obviously the kids aren't going to be sleeping in that arm's reach co-sleeper slash play yard forever, and I don't want to have, um, you know, two of them and unnecessarily have two of them. But the good thing about having two of them is, is my sister-in-law is also pregnant and I could just give her or let them buy the, the pack and play that we get if we get that when their baby is born. I don't know. So give me your opinions because I'm going to get one of these things today, um, hopefully by the end of the day. So thank you very much and I will talk to you ladies soon. Uh, bye.